After 300 days of intense training and recovering from a last minute injury, I ran the 200 meters at the Olympic trials, but unfortunately came up short of my goal of qualifying to represent Team GB in Paris. But just over a week later, with some extra time to prepare, I'm feeling much better and it's now time to begin my comeback. So far this season, I've not performed near to my best, but it's time to change that. In this episode, the mission is to obliterate both of my season's bests and regain confidence ahead of the England National Championships. So let's get out there and re-announce myself onto the scene. So last episode you'll have seen I was at the Olympic trials, didn't go to plan after four weeks of rushing to try and recover in time from a hamstring injury. But the good news is I'm all healthy now and we're back into full training. So I've got a block session tonight uh, ahead of my next race, which is next Tuesday, uh, which is what, like four or five days from now. Exciting today, we've got some new spikes. So the new Adidas Prime SP3, they're definitely more rigid than the last ones and they're a little bit sleeker. So I'm going to be lacing them up for the first time and going out of blocks today. So we'll see how they feel. I've got today's session and then we've got a Sunday session, which will not be too heavy. And then I'm flying to Ireland on Monday for a race on Tuesday. That's going to be a 200. So yeah, this is officially the comeback. transition and pickup feels really good so we just got to take this momentum keep building we've got one more session on Sunday which I suspect will be doing something around the bend because that's what I need now that I'm healthy we're gonna take the running back onto the bend get confident get comfortable out of the blocks on the bend again because I'm gonna need it on Tuesday we're in the 200 at the Cork City Games in Ireland the spikes feel good to be fair feel pretty nice they've performed I'm uh, going to be putting them on again on Sunday, but for now, we're going to rest up, recover, back on track on Sunday, yeah. Power, power, trucks, trucks. Thursday. Wait, <laughs> it's Sunday and the weather's weird. It's like raining, but also boiling and humid and sunny at the same time. But we're down at the track for my pre-meet session because tomorrow I'm flying to Ireland for a 200 meters. This is the start of the comeback tour. And for the first time in several weeks, I'm training on the bend. This is kind of a session to try and get my confidence back, to find a rhythm so I can start piecing together my race plan over 200 meters again. Uh, the target is to try and get sub six to 50 meters. That's where we're gonna be running to. Six flat is good as well. I think in my PB, I ran 6.06 .06 as a split through to 50. Obviously we won't get any precise splits today, but 
just as a kind of benchmark to have a look at. Let's go. Regaining my confidence running around the bend, I'm ready to take on the World Continental Tour and snap back into form. Oh. Alright then, I'm currently in Ireland, specifically Cork City and I've got a 200 meters tonight. Uh, the race goes off about 9 p.m., so it's quite a late one. But yeah, I'm excited for it. This is the first race that I'll have done since the Olympic trials. I've been healthy since. I've managed to get a little bit more training in. Obviously, it's only like nine days later, so it's not that much later, but I've got a couple sessions in and we're getting the momentum going again. Looking to go out there and have some fun. The main thing that I want to go for is to really attack the bend properly this time now that I know that I can actually run round the bend. I watched back the videos from the trials and what I was doing when I was just chopping my stride way too much instead of putting my foot down, really extending from each stride and attacking round the entire bend. I basically just went half-hearted throughout the whole bend. But I'm excited. I feel like I'm gonna have a lot of fun out there today. So yeah, we're a good few hours away from race time now. I'm just having some lunch. Shout out to Tesco Extra, not sponsored, obviously, but I must have got one of the best value for money meal deals ever right here. This has got to be like almost like eight or nine pounds worth of food. Excited for this one. I've got a good feeling. I'm feeling a lot more positive. And yeah, I'll be ready to go soon. After spending pretty much all the day just in my room relaxing, I grabbed some more food. And then a couple hours before my race was due to go, I got myself ready, packed my bags and headed down to the track. All right, so as you can see, that warm up area is pretty chaotic. Um, so I'm not sure how much I'm going to actually be able to film in there. I think there's an AstroTurf, like, pretty nearby. So, like, on the other side of the stadium. So I'm probably going to walk there, do some initial jogging, strides, drills, and then come back into the main warm-up area, which is literally like a 30-metre track with, like, three lanes. But, yeah, we're here. Conditions seem okay. We're staying dry by the looks of it. Feeling good about this one. We're going to get moving shortly. I need to do what I said before, is drive nice and aggressive and long around the bend. I'll see you out there. Let's go. My first time back on the start line after my Olympic trials disappointment and I'm determined to make amends and bounce back strong. Nice start there from Mark Smith and outside of Brava's going very well as well. It is, it is the Latvian man who has a nice bit of a lead here coming into the bend. Out on the outside there as well, Teddy Wilson having a good run but it looks like as, as the bend unwinds, Mark Smith is clear by a metre or two. Inside of there is Joe Ferguson having a good run as well and Mark Smith is going to hold out the line. He'll tie up a little bit. 20.62 is a personal best. Joe Ferguson really, really looking towards the end there. You can see Smith just... 
So just after a week after the Olympic trials, I've managed to bounce back with a nice 20.67 seasons best. The main difference in this race was I got out of the blocks a lot more aggressively, especially to the first 50. The second half of the bend still needs a little bit of work, I still need to keep a little bit more intensity, but I still managed to pull myself round the bend with a bit more speed and finish the race nice and strong. I'm happy to bounce back with a really solid race and I'm excited to build on this in the next few weeks. That was better. 20.67 plus 1.4 season's best. It's, I don't want to say a relief, but it's it feels nice to feel somewhat like myself again. Obviously, we've still got a ways to go until I'm back to my best, like in PB form. We're only nine days since I ran what I thought was pretty bad. So it's a nice turnaround, and I think I've put that down to just a little bit more confidence on the bend. Um, obviously we've still got a little bit of work to do, mainly the second half of the bend, but my start was much better. To 50, I felt pretty good. I think it's still putting the foot down a little bit more, just getting comfortable running the, the entire bend. But 20.6, definitely a massive step in the right direction. So yeah, feeling good. I think I'm going to be racing on Saturday at my local track in Sheffield. I need to get that confirmed, but if I do, I'm going to be running the 100. So I'll check in on the track on Thursday. And hopefully, in this video, you'll see me racing again on Saturday. See you back down at the track. Just doing 3.30s today. We landed yesterday. So yeah, just keep building on this momentum now. So I'm gonna do three block starts. Let's make them good. So after returning from what was a successful meet over the 200 meters in Ireland, I'm back at the track to do some final block starts before a last minute entry to a 100 meter race at my local training track. I've already had a busy week, but we decided that the 100 meter race practice will do me plenty of good as I'm preparing to run the 100 at the England National Championships just over a week from now. Set. So the 200 meter comeback and season best is complete, now all I have to do is get down to my training track on Saturday and execute a solid 100. Alright, we're down at the outdoor track where you see me training all the time and today I've got two rounds of the 100 meters. First time I've run the 100 since I ran my wind assisted 10.21 in London. That was the same day where I hurt my hamstring in the 200. So this is the bounce back. Obviously you've seen earlier in the week, I ran a nice season's best 20.6 in the 200, which I was really happy with. But today we're back at the 100. So super low key meet. It's, I think it's, it's basically just like a training run. I'm not trying to take it too serious. Obviously like I'm trying to come down and execute a good race, but basically I'm seeing this as a warm up for the England champs 100 meters. That is a week today. What day are we on? Saturday, yeah, it's a week today. Hopefully run nice big seasons best. My legal seasons best is 10-6. Obviously the 10-2 was windy. That's the aim today, just really smash that seasons best. Um, so yeah, two rounds, gonna get warmed up in a second. The main thing I'm looking at is that first 30 needs to be on point. The rest of it hopefully will look after itself. So yeah, let's get warmed up now. See you out there. So as you can see, there was a lot of twitching going off and unfortunately the recall gun was fired, but it didn't work for some reason. So that meant that the race left me behind. 
Obviously, if this were the championship, I would have continued the run, but with this being my last chance to practice before the England champs, I managed to get myself into the second heat just five minutes later, so I'm ready to go again. One more full start later, and it's finally time to go. So I crossed the line in 10.51 seconds and I was fairly pleased considering the drizzly conditions and a few mistakes made in the race. Just 30 minutes later, it's time to go for round two. Finishing in an almost identical 10.50 in what felt like a pretty relaxed race. I'm happy and I'm looking to move forward over the next week. All right, there we go. I wrapped up for the day. Two rounds of 100, 10.51 in the first round, 10.50 in the second round. So pretty much the same time. It's the season's best. I, I came here to smash my season's best and I've done that 10.50 and there was only about 30 minutes in between the runs so it kind of was like a training round. Would have liked to go a bit quicker in my head I was thinking it'd be nice to run like a 10.3 today but I was expecting slightly more following wind than what there was. 10.50 I think psychologically like if I ran 10.49, 10.48 I probably would be a lot happier but obviously I'm coming off the back of 20.6 just on Tuesday so like I know my body is capable of running fast. Good start to the comeback. 20.6 six on tuesday 10 5 0 today a couple decent rounds in the legs that'll wake me up now we're just gonna like try and taper it down i'm working a couple days this week but uh i'm gonna shut it down a couple days before nationals on saturday so yeah feeling pretty good comebacks on you know things are looking positive already feeling much better and i know that i will be much better because my performance indicators in training mainly like my distance covered over the first eight or nine steps has been very good. Today, when I was doing my practice starts, I noticed I was about half a metre down, which normally is my big indicator of you're not fully recovered or fully fresh. So with that in mind, you know, I'm, I'm fairly happy. I know that once I gain that half a metre or so um, over the first few strides, when I'm fully sharp, fully fresh, we're gonna see much faster times. Next week is gonna be the prep for the England Championship 100 metres. Gonna be the first time I've run a Championship 100 in like, what, four years since I was a junior? like as a national championship so i'm excited but this week obviously anyone that watched the last episode and the recovery over the last five weeks or so this is a massive step in the right direction this week so now spend the next week getting sharp getting recovered and let's go smash it at england champs thanks for watching see you in the next one